Hello everyone, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, my voice is um, a little hoarse uh, today. A bug or something, I don't know. But let's talk to this person. Mind your step. I would not want you to step on this random patch of grass. I jest, of course. The Telvanni forced me to work, but I make sure it brings them no pleasure. I see you wear no shackles. Do you seek work? I know someone who needs help. Someone who needs assistance? Could you tell me more? In truth, you would be helping many Saxleal, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow, but I call her my heart. She hatches a plan to set us free. Hmm. What do you need me to do? Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book. Always reading that one. Always learning. If all goes to plan, she will read her books beside me in the boughs of a hist. Soon, I hope. All right. I'll go talk to Sun in Shadow. Walk with Sithis, my friend, and mind the Telvanni. They spin lies like an elder at the yarn wheel. How did you end up here? I ventured too far from the hist and did not heed the bird signs. Dark elf slavers spine hooked me near Thorn. I escaped four times, but never for long. Eventually the Telvanni bought me. At a discount, I am told. I take pride in that, at least. <laughs> uh, is this uh, legal at all? Laws are slippery things. <clears throat> the Ebonheart Pact outlawed Argonian slavery, but House Telvanni refused to join the pact. In truth, I cannot imagine how they would live without slaves. The Magisters are like overstuffed crocodiles. Dangerous. But lazy. Hmm. Could I help you break free? I thank you for your offer, but I tire of breaking free only to be recaptured a day later. Sun in Shadow's plan will earn us a lasting freedom. If you help her, you help me. I see. I don't know much of these lands. Uh, who are the Talvani exactly? Mages, mostly. Members of the so-called Great House Talvani. One of the four great houses of the Dark Elves. They love using that word, great. Great at ruining lives, perhaps. So they all keep Argonian slaves? Yes, and Khajiit also. You see, for a Telvanni, life is nothing but a cheap struggle for mastery and control. Mastery of their dry-skinned magics, control of their mushroom towers, and dominion over people. People like us. I see. Thank you. Well... Uh, no, uh... Kingdom of Morning? Oh, Wrong place. A hireling of House Vani. Okay. Uh, where's that? Above. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, I really, really need to get some uh, tea or something. I think when I go to do the cut, I will kind of go take a break, make some tea for my uh, voice. It's kind of uh, fading fast. Yes. Can I help you, Soryo? Sun in Shadow? Yaki sent me. Bless his eyes. Yes, I'm Sun in Shadow. 
Ioki told you I have a plan to earn our freedom, right? It will require finesse and discretion. I trust that I can count on you for both. To earn my freedom, I need the help of Magister Therama. Magister Therana? She's a recently elevated Telvani Magister. Not so set in her ways as the others, and probably more likely to remember her early struggles. I know she wants something from Zane Terraris. I need to find out what it is, then get it for her. Do you have any idea what she wants? I'm afraid not. I traded in some favors to get a better idea of what she's seeking, but I learned very little. Apparently, her mouth, Erevin Ontham, has some correspondence that might give us a clue. I need that letter. Mm, pardon me. You can earn your freedom? Oh, yes. House Telvani has its warts, but it's a true meritocracy. With enough guile and cunning, even a lowly slave can sit on the council. I've studied spellcraft since before I could lift a broom. All I need now is the sponsorship of a Magister. How do you earn the Magister's approval? The Rana's been haranguing the Council, trying to get their help in claiming Zane Terraris from House Redrin. She wants something in that shrine. I aim to get it for her. Her mouth, Erevan Anthem, has a letter that contains the clues we need. I'll try to get the information for you. Be cautious in the council house, Sarah. House Tilvani is not just some beast you can slay. In this place, subtlety will serve you better than any shield. We have to play the game. You've told me how this plan helps you, but how does it help Ioki? Truthfully, it doesn't. Not yet. Tilvani plots take time to develop. If I demand the Oki's freedom too early, I show my hand. Suddenly, he's a valuable piece in the game, moved and sacrificed as the Magisters see fit. So, you're protecting him by keeping him in chains? Do I sense a rebuke? It's not ideal, I know. Look, I treasure Ioki. He's placed his trust in me. I hope you'll do the same. How did you and Yoki meet? Ah, it was during one of his many escape attempts. I was cleaning Master Otheri's tableware when Yoki burst through the kitchen door, dragging his chains behind him. He threw open the window and started to climb through it. Then he saw me. And? He hesitated, even smiled. You don't see Mars slaves smile much. Certainly not when they're being chased by Nyx hounds. They dragged him off and threw him in the dry box. He told me he'd spend a year in there if it meant seeing me again. You two seem pretty different. There's an old alchemist proverb. No reaction is ever so forceful as the mixing of opposing components. A mouthful, I know. But it fits. Ioki and I occupy different poles on the same spear. He keeps me grounded. I keep him safe. I completely understand. As a player. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I happen to be wearing a costume. Uh, what is it? This is the uh, Steel Shrike uniform. Something different. <laughs> Excessive yawning, of course.
Master Erevan is away on business. Has been for some time, in fact. I know a prowler when I see one. What do you want? I'm just looking around like any prowler. No one just wanders into a council mouth's office looking around. I should report you. What are you really after? And do be honest, we've already wasted enough time here. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm looking for a letter. Ah, the one about Zane Tiraris, is it? Well, I could call the guard and be about my day, but I am a Telvani after all. We don't turn away an opportunity when it presents itself. Perhaps you could help me with a problem I've run into. What do you have in mind? It's a matter of literature, or lack thereof. I wrote a poem, you see, a cloying, drunken mess of a poem. The post delivered it to my darling Ether and Dora just this morning. If you get it away from her, the letter is yours. Okay, that seems fair. Where is Ethrandora? She spends most of her time in the study, here in the council hall. She's very diligent, always leaning over one book or another. And the way she licks her thumb when she turns the pages. I think you're... You'll find her in the study. Mm -hmm. yes. I think you're a little smitten. Why is it so important to get the poem back? Doesn't sound like a big deal to me. The poem's terrible. Plus, if word got to my parents that I'd been courting a wood elf, I'd be written out of the will, repeatedly, with red ink. Then there's also the possibility of blackmail. Gotcha. Blackmail. Over a poem. That seems... Wow. Really? Why do you think Ethrandora keeps it on her? She knows that if Master Erevan gets wind of this, he might dismiss me from his service. Clever minx. Working for a council mouth is a fine occupation, Fla. I can't risk losing it. Why did you send her the poem in the first place? She's such a pretty, dainty thing. Not at all like those other scrawny acorn elves. Add a half bottle of shame to a lusty heart and you wind up with some very poor decisions. Alcohol induced regret. Gotcha. <laughs> this is the library? Are you serious? We have way more books in our own home. We don't even have enough shelves for them. Seriously. Hundred percent. Always nice when you pickpocket. I hope this is good news. Well, very good news. Well, did you get my poem? Courtesy of the Thieves' Guild. Quick, give it here. Phew, what a relief. All right, Fla, I'm going to burn this embarrassment. I sure hope I didn't leave Master Erevan's correspondence box unlocked. That would be careless in the extreme. Farewell. That would be very careless. Farewell. Good riddance to bad writing. Okay, if you care to read, please pause the video and enjoy. There is no way with my voice that I could uh, read anything out loud, so... Yeah, not going to try. Well, 
one would hope it would rain so the scales don't dry out da, 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 da. Oh, how tiring that would be. Interesting way for drink and goblet and stuff. A little bit too much meat for my liking. I was afraid you'd been compromised. Were you successful? Did Anthem have anything worth raiding? Therana wants a relic hidden away in Zen Zane Terrace. May I? Ah, a saint's relic. Saint Felms. Never heard of him. Hmm. Says here the Redoran wants it too. To squirrel away in some musty old chapel, no doubt. We need to make sure Therana gets it before they do. Now how do you propose we do that? Looks like the shrine is locked, protected by some puzzle ward. Luckily the letter provides some hints on how to break in. Solve the puzzle, grab the relic, then make haste to tell Barana. The Rana should be there. Offer her the relic on my behalf. How confident are you that Therana will trade the relic for her sponsorship? Somewhere between certain and apprehensive. The Telvani respect all clever schemes and love to barter. This little intrigue will prove my worth, I know it. Then again... She could just try to take the relic by force. I see. Should that happen, then what? Run? Telvani magisters wield magics that put Giuliano's to shame. Of course, you're quite the hero in your own right. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Wow. Nope, my voice is not going downhill at all. Okay, now, is there faster travel to uh, the shrine? I expect some evil forces to be... No, maybe not evil. I mean, it, they could be... Yes, there is a shrine. Uh... just forces put into place to protect not evil not good just neutral it's, it's like having an alarm system on your house it's just there pretty Oh, pardon me. That was, I love that red there. That was quite nice. Now, does that say above at all? No, it doesn't. Oh, I almost went for it. The resource that was there. Almost. You know, it's only taken, what, 400 episodes? And I'm starting to get a little better about stopping and grabbing the resources and I just did that as a joke actually because it was just so well perfectly timed with what I was saying oh shit I didn't even realize we were under attack I heard the shouting but I didn't put any stock in it. Wow, that was uh, wild. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cut here because we're almost upon 20 minutes. And uh, I'm going to go make a cup of tea for my throat with honey. And uh, I shall be back. 
and we will continue our journey. So hang on to your socks. No, it's not good. No, we'll go with hang on to your socks. Yeah. Well, be right back. Yes, that that's definitely better with the tea. This chest also appeared while we are waiting. So let's quickly do that. There we go. Uh, nothing. 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 Right. Scribble note. They all have the same symbol? Yes. All right. I've tried lighting them all. Tried lighting what's left. Tried lighting none. What's left? The Mad Prince says numbers. Numbers are for tossers. Give me eyes any day. Or jesters. It's jesters with no eyes. Which reminds me, kill all the jesters. I need their bones. Bones. Bones, bones, bones. Skulls. Skulls are bones, right? A family of skulls say, how do you do? Two shout, we're one. And three yell, we're two. Five glare at three. Oh, fuck. Five glare at three. As six laughs at four. Just burn them to open the mad prince's door. I tried burning them. I tried... I tried burning me. It hurts. Shouldn't do that anymore. But I have a skull, haven't I? Maybe just once more, a little bonfire, then click. Goes the hatch. I'm coming, my lord. Set a place for me at the cheese plate. Six. Three. One. Two. All right. Uh, how do you do? That's one. Two shout, we're one. And three yell, we're two. Two, three, five, and six. Two, three, five, and 
and six. Hot damn, that was it. The door is open. Open at last. <laughs> Who the hell was that? The first skull is the red herring. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. A little bit of tea. Trying scavenging journal. Uh, if you care to read, I'm going to be reading as well. But you can pause the video. Or not, it'll take me a while. Okay. Scamps, huh? I would like to go both corridors. Okay. <clears throat> Seducer Brute. I don't think my Blade of Wool will work. I do believe these are Daedra. So let's wait. We'll start with Wild Witch. Wild Wild Witch. Okay. One more should do it. Nice. So we are in a danger shrine. Okay, so it's just two. That's fine. We're dealing with the Mad Mad Prince again. Oh boy. Uh, T. 
What the hell? Geysers, huh? Come on, Beholder. You're gonna die. Okay, I know it's not Beholder, but it still reminds me of them from D&D. Ugh, shit. Although, interestingly, this one isn't knocking me, you know, all the way back kind of bull. I expected something after picking up the key, but mm, that is not the case. Find the finger bone of Saint Felms. Okay, ran away back to the center, okay? But not quick enough. Alright, that worked. Thank you. Give me time to drink tea. Very nice. Why is this pointed at? That was that was a good hit. At the shrine? That's that's uh, worrisome. I didn't see that initially. Whoa. Sorry. Take the relic? Wait, what? Just don't want to stand near those. Can I get past? Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. Any messages. I love my professionalism. Eh, we can. I mean, people can message us all the time when they play games. It's part of life. 
All right. Well, I do want to see what's down there. Just give me one moment here, okay? Right. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. No, I, I think we'll just move on. Maybe we can turn this in quickly. Okay, take the relic to tell Renora, which is kind of south of here. Uh, this way. We'll see how well we do in delivering it before it's a little bit too late for the video length. I'm trying to make this one shorter. I'm not having really much luck with that as of late. For any video? Whoa. So, in, in the last video, I was given a uh, tip directions uh, as to the uh, rubbings as who you would talk to and where which we will be doing that um, it's in Vivek in the library I was told so that is where we will end up with those at some point. Hopefully soon. I, mean, I do like the idea of just randomly finding them and then going there. Oh, if you could do all these rubbings. Yeah, they're already done. You know, I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, let's get this way, Shrine. Whoa. Very nice. It's a lot easier than using a levitate potion. Oh, excellent. Another clumsy adventurer bumbles into my home. I really must put a hex on that lift. Have you come to rob me? That would go very poorly for you. No, 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 no. My name is Belong. I come on behalf of Sun and Shadow, an Argonian in Sadrath Mora. Sun in Shadow. Oh yes, I know the lizard. An enterprising young mage, if memory serves. Don't look so surprised. Her magical abilities are the worst kept secret in Sadrath Mora. What does she want? I hope you bring more than boring salutations. Uh, I have the finger bone of Saint Felms. Take from Zenteris. Do you now? Well, she's a clever one, isn't she? Even convinced you to do the work for her. Impressive. So, what does our scaled friend want in exchange for this relic? No, no, no. Give me a moment. I'm keen to guess. She wants her freedom, right? Yes. She needs you to endorse her bid for freedom and sponsorship, um, and sponsor her as a hireling of House Talvani. Oh, good. I was afraid she'd do something boring with her freedom, like run off into the marsh to worship trees or some such. 
Sun in shadow shall have my endorsement. I'll give you a writ. Deliver it to my mouth, Erevan. He'll know what to do. Thank you. There, that should be sufficient. Now, take that writ and be off. I have a relic to study. To the council of esteemed members of the great house Stavani, I, Magister Theron of Talbaran, do hereby request the support of support the elevation of the slave Arconian Sun and Shadow to rank within our house. She should be lifted from the slave cast and established as a rank of hireling as soon as possible. Sun and Shadow has shown great initiative and capacity for careful planning. Her actions, both direct and indirect, led to the acquisition of a valuable relic, an item vital to my research. The fact that she accomplished this feat while still in shackles speaks volumes. The Council is no doubt aware of Sun and Shadow's magical aptitude. Despite her racial handicap, she shows great promise, particularly in the realm of alteration and con conjuration. Such talent demands cultivation. Asian, Asian, Asian. The house shall pr uh, profit from her work. I have no doubt. Honor and regard to his mess. Okay, so there's no kind of double cross in that. That's why I was reading it. Now, let's find out where we need to uh, go and see if we can finish up with this. We need to go here. I've got my eye on you. Do, 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 do. Deliver the red. Uh, sorry if you can hear the sirens. Wow. Do you need something? I'm rather busy at the moment. I have a writ from Magister Therana. Oh? Let me see that. Submit to Council. Argonian slave freed. Services to House Telvani. Well, well. I've always known Sun in Shadow to be ambitious, but this is quite the master stroke. I shall take this to the Council and send for her. Excellent. Feel free to wait in the Council Chamber. We will rule on this matter soon. One other thing. Some of my personal correspondence went missing recently. If that ever happens again, the Morag Tong will hear of it. I trust we understand each other. I understand completely. Farewell. I'll give this to the Council. Strange. Ah, Council. No. I've imagined this moment since I was a hatchling. I knew I'd be free eventually, but now that the moment's here, I just hope I don't embarrass myself. What will the Council do? They'll deliberate, needle each other a bit, then set me free. I only hope that they'll take me on as a hireling as well. I'll even get my own quarters. Can you imagine that? Not only my own room, a whole house to myself. My heart is racing. If you're a hireling, will you be able to leave? I thought you were headed back, headed to Black Marsh. Yes, of course. 
I mean, eventually. We can talk about that later. Just let me bask in this moment, all right? As you wish. Truly, I couldn't have done this without you and the Oki. A plan is only as useful as the people who carry it out. You have my deepest thanks, Sarah. Now, I suppose it's time. I have a feeling that she completely used Yoki. Would you say that she used us or more of, eh, we don't care. Hard to say. Tidings from my august patron, Magister Therana. She would have your masters know that this slave, Sun in Shadow, has earned her favor. What? Magister Therana would lend her good name to this thing? Preposterous. Relasa, don't be as tiresome as your master. Uh, shouldn't we move this along, please? Very well. Magister Therana, by right of rank, demands that the slave girl, Sun in Shadow, be freed from her bonds and raised up to a hireling of the great house Telvani. She belongs to Magister Otheri, does she not? Indeed. My most beneficent patron, Magister Otheri, acquiesces to Magister Therana's demands. He is confident that Therana will remember this kindness in the future. Sun and Shadow, you are hereby freed and lifted up to the rank of hireling. My most majestic patron, Magister Gothrin, warns you all. Lift up one of these beasts and a thousand more will follow. This is folly. If there's nothing else, I have urgent business in Telmora. You've done well, girl. Do come by in a day or so. I may have some work for you. A hireling. Can you believe it? Not much of a title, I know, but I've spent a lifetime earning it. And what will you do next? I'll burn these rags, polish my scales, and work even harder. The next few days are critical. I can't afford any slip-ups. Magisters circle new hirelings like cliff racers. If they see any sign of weakness, they swoop in and pick the bones clean. And what of Iaki? Can you free him now? Not yet, no. Like I said, even the smallest mistake could spell disaster. It's still too early. I can't say more. Not here, anyway. Too many listening ears. Meet me in my new quarters, all right? I have a plan that might speed things along. I'll come by when I can. We certainly will not be doing that this video. But, um, it is time to call it. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and it's rather nice here. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe down below for more videos like this and of other videos. What is it? Pointy ears, pointy fuzzy ears. There's a rat here. Um, I'm sorry. You can also subscribe to my Twitter as well as my Twitch channel where I sometimes stream. Certainly not today. Links down below in the description. But until when next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Oh, and try not to get sick. It's terrible. Although, you do you get to say fuck diet, fuck calorie counting, screw all that, and eat things like ice cream and poutine. So there are advantages to being sick, I guess. Bye!